Mac computers need some optimization after being used for a longer period of time. After extensive use, you may notice some problems like I did. But what if I told you that, that there are some solutions to these problems like software you can use or methods you can try out so you can actually optimize your Mac. Now what are the problems that I've experienced? First of all, my system storage simply got too big for no reason and I just couldn't find the files that take up the storage. If you click on the Apple logo in the upper left corner of your Mac and then hit on about this Mac and then click on the storage, you will be able to check out how much the other storage section actually takes up. For me, it's a lot and I personally have no idea what's actually stored there. So this is the one problem and besides that, my Mac gradually got slower over time and that of course has to do something with the RAM and the optimization like I talked about. So for this you can use a software called Outbyte. I personally tried it out and this software actually focuses on this kind of problems. And it also happens to be sponsoring this video so shout out to them. The installation file is enlarged, I mean when running low on storage this is also something you think about especially when you're rocking 128GB MacBook like I do. Anyways. You install the software for free with the option to activate it later and make sure to scan the computer. This of course takes a couple of seconds. But once it's done, you'll get a list of all the things that you can see right here on the screen. So focus on these sections. Focus on the trash, system cache, system and user logs, user cache and additional cache. Those other sections like downloads, I mean, you could have some important files there, so make sure to go through it before you hit delete. So make sure to be careful with these. But the cache and the user logs, I mean, those are actually the files that take up the other storage on your Mac. The storage that you cannot really delete using the built-in finder or you're just not able to find all of the files that you want to delete. So select all of these sections and hit remove files. This will of course reduce the size of the other storage, so feel free to compare it afterwards. That was actually the system junk, basically files that you cannot easily locate. But in order to make your Mac free up even more storage, make sure to also manage your duplicates and large slash old files. On the left side in the app, you can see duplicates finder, and it's pretty much just searches for copies of things and files you already have stored and therefore probably don't need twice. So when clicking here you can manage all of the files and perhaps delete those that you don't need. Again, in order to free up even more storage. So we removed the duplicates, now we can take a look at the large and old files. Here again you'll be able to locate these and the way it works is that you can sort all of the files either by size or a date. So you do have the option to focus on alt files or focus on those that take up the most storage. So these are the tools that will dramatically change your storage situation on your Mac. By the way guys, if you are new on this channel, make sure to subscribe because I try to post videos like these in the future as well. So make sure to subscribe and let's continue with the video. The next thing that requires optimization after using a Mac for a longer period of time is of course the memory used, I'm talking about the RAM. So in the same app on the left side you can see we have the performance tools. Underneath you also have some protection tools but this doesn't really optimize your Mac in any way. I mean if you want some extra security just go for it but this doesn't speed up your Mac or anything like that. But here I click on a memory cleaner and it's going to tell you how much exactly you're using uh, the RAM at the moment. So as you can see for me it is actually 40% at the moment. You can even see all of your information about your current RAM. I mean I went for the 16 gigs of RAM so that's why I can use a lot of RAM and do a, a, lot, of, a lot of tasks at the same time. But for people with 8 gigs of RAM this is going to be crucial to make sure that it is optimized. So in order to optimize it, click on the green button which says start optimization and once you do that you can see we have the loading screen and you of course need to wait like everything takes a couple of seconds or even minutes depending on your situation. 
So after just a couple of seconds, it went down to 36%. I mean, the situation in my case wasn't that bad, but it made it made the percentage go down. That means that it everything uses less RAM and less memory at the moment. This is like the point of the optimization. So as you can see, it tries to focus on the currently inactive apps. And those apps a lot of times take and use RAM, even though you probably don't need them to. So this is like the purpose of this app. It makes your Mac run faster because it eliminates the use of the RAM of some apps that you don't use at the moment and a whole bunch of stuff. So I think you should take a look at it. I mean, you can try it out and I've been using the app for a while and so far I like it. And and that's why I think you should try it out. So besides that, you also get notifications and things. For example, when you use a huge percentage of your RAM, you're going to get a pop up that you need to clean something or optimize it. Perhaps you get some notifications when you're running low on battery. Plus, you have this icon at the top. So you can actually enable power saving mode or extreme saving. So it just eliminates the internet or Bluetooth connection based on your situation. I don't think I'm going to be using that, but other than that, I actually like the system junk files, which are removed using the app and also the memory cleaner. These are my favorites, but feel free to try out anything you want. So I want to say thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this content and I'll see you guys later in the next video. Peace out, guys.